Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. You've no reason to be here. Stop. Leave now. What's he doing? Push him again. Help! Please! Is that the last of them? I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it.
Better not fall for it. Him to run like that. Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. I know what I must do to reach him. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
of Acre and push them from the countryside. And I'm more of the money. Three souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right. What was just? You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No. I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. This is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, Your Grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. Oh, yeah. 
are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Appa for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You who speak of good intentions.
news. William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. When you are exposed, use sharp turns or climb over buildings to break. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange, but no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sable. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith.
better not cause any trouble. You can use stealth kills to create a distraction by throwing a knife, pushing somebody off a roof, or performing a stealth assassination. Take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't. Forget it. These are dark days indeed. You seem to be in a hurry. I wonder. Altair, I meant to meet a contact nearby. But the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination?
Good. I should be safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today! It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Worried that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city. Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come, let us return to work. You need something? You've something to say? Yeah. <laughs> 
تحتاج شيئا هل تريد قول شيء ما I am sorry, Ahmad. They came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. I won't allow it. But what can we do? Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution, perform it even. He enjoys the act. Truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. for a fifth point. Let me go! Cover! for this nonsense. Damned archers. We are to launch an assault against one of Medjduddin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming. Or we will have to begin again. Where is the one responsible for this? strong in our faith. But we are only human. We might falter. We might fail. Majduddin is here to see that even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. Confess to him, and he will show mercy. But if you try to run, to hide, you will be found and made to pay. We all but we are only human. We might falter. We might fail. Majduddin is here to see that even when this happens, we are to a proper course. Confess to him. He will show mercy. But should you try to run, to hide? You will be found and made to pay. 
We all hold darkness in our hearts. I'm starting to understand why Al Mualim favors you. I assume you have been sent to deal with Merjudin, yes? Then it might help you to know that he enjoys lecturing his prisoners before executing them. While doing so, he turns his back to the crowd. It would be the perfect moment for you to strike. Now, I must attend to my men. We have our own targets to deal with. If they act contrary to the law, no matter how minor it seems, they must be reported. A small crime today leads to larger ones tomorrow. Majduddin will help. Only come forward so that he might know their names. There is no harm in naming them. Those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith. Without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Who's coming? Tell me! Go away! Just my life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something. And I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them. Fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but... Dangerous, all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> want to do that again someone tell me why he's doing that why would anyone want to do that you are not supposed to be here leave No further. Forbidden for you to be here. A 
Are you a friend of mine? No? So get away. Does anyone help me? Beep! No. You are Fence! What the fuck is he doing? What are you all doing? That's Fence! Stop it, please! Beep! You are Fence! You're hurting me! Weha! For your sin! Would you came along when you did? Another minute and they would have made off with me. What? You've chosen the wrong side. Master, safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they asked me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujdudin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. All I ask is for a few coins. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. That man seems to be in a hurry. Is that very appreciated? Odd. Why would he do that? You are the best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, Master. I was cleaning the temple steps. I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. Man 
What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Al Muallim has asked that Mejduddin be slain. He is to hold a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything, only suspect. You must expect to be wrong, to have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. Don't foul this, Altair. Time is of the essence. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. People of Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today 
to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? We do! Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. You know I can do that. Who do you take up? And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you. But I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! She goes by many names. Her sin remains the same. She turned her back on the teachings, defiled her body to advance her. <laughs> Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. <laughs> 